So with the new high school pack for The Sims 4, you can actually build a functional high school in the game. I've been building fake high schools and like pretending that they exist in The Sims for years, so the idea of being able to make an actual one that works is really exciting to me. Real quick, I just want to thank the EA Creator Network for giving us early access to this pack. Last week I had like four days of special early access with like a special version of the game that only had the base game, the new pack, and the newest update. It's kind of a weird version, it like can't access the gallery, it's got a weird watermark and stuff floating around it, but we did get to play play a lot of the pack. So just so we're clear, I'm not like being paid or sponsored or anything. I literally just got the pack early and only for a few days. And with those disclaimers out of the way, let's start building this high school. So in the high school years pack, there is a giant 64 by 64 high school lot in the game. And this lot also has to be a high school. You can kind of see the grayed out high school lot type because it's stuck that way. Basically the high school will only function on this lot. It's also got a few special lot requirements and I made sure I followed those very closely because I didn't want the high school to break when I bulldozed it. It's got Got some pretty interesting like basic things like obviously toilets and sinks and stuff but also it requires some lockers you need the cafeteria station you need the whiteboards you need the principal's desk and the loudspeaker and i played with the high school pack a lot before i built this because i wanted to make sure that i was really familiar with how it worked and like what you actually needed here because in my experience with rebuilding these like special lots you've got to be kind of careful like for example if you wanted to rebuild the hospital from get to work i am very wary of bulldozing that lot the thing about those get to work lots like the science lab and the hospital and stuff stuff is that they aren't actually editable. So if you want to edit them, you have to use the bb.enable free build cheat. And there also isn't lot requirements listed. So if you like forget to put something, then it's not going to work right. So I am really wary about ever bulldozing those. Like when I built the hospital recently, instead of just bulldozing the lot, I actually took out all of the useful objects, like the necessary things and just left them in the corner. So I wouldn't forget any of them. And then I deleted everything else manually. But a huge positive of the high school is that it's actually editable. Like you can come here and you can just build on it without cheats. And it also has those lot requirements actually listed so you don't forget anything important. So for a quick rundown of how like the day-to-day -day in high school works, basically your sim gets here, all of the sims kind of arrive at once at 8 a.m. and sort of stand in a crowd in the courtyard. And then you've got a couple hours of free time so you can go inside, you can study, you can get some breakfast, you can go to your locker, you can like use some of the skill building objects. And then they have their first class. So the high school building has two classrooms. The default one has like one on the far left and one on the far right. I have always been assigned to the left class room in all of my gameplay. So I think that just everybody does. In that classroom, there's like a bunch of desks and a whiteboard and that's pretty much it. And then your sim just goes in there, they sit down, they watch the teacher do their presentation for an hour and then they leave. You can't actually like do anything at school. You can't like take notes in class or choose to nap in class. They just go to class, spend the hour, gain some skills and then leave. And like I mentioned, the classroom is like kind of empty. There's not a lot of decorations or like, I don't know, posters on the wall, which to me is kind of a standard thing for classrooms. So I wanted to add some of that in these classrooms in this building. But gameplay wise, you don't need really any other like skill building or necessary objects in the classroom. It's just the whiteboard and those desks. And then after that first class, you get lunch and you've got three hours. And so I wanted to make the cafeteria a little bit better too. The default cafeteria is very big, but it only has like four tables. And I found that it's not really enough. The only required items for the cafeteria though, are just that like food station where you can go and buy food at lunchtime. So basically just like the food stand and tables. But in mine, I wanted to put like some extra trash cans, maybe some vending machines, kind of like some more realistic items to have some extra stuff. Then there's also a principal's office in the default high school. And this one was kind of weird because in the requirements, there's a principal's desk that's required for the lot, but it's like specifically one of the desks that comes with the pack. Now I didn't get a chance to test if other desks work for this, but I'm pretty sure that that desk is like the one that the principal uses. So when I made the principal's office in this building, I had that desk be the only desk of that kind in the whole school and I made sure it was in her office and because I did that it always worked like the principal always went into her office she was always using her desk but I worry that if you use that desk again elsewhere it might like mess up and then she would like sit at that desk instead again I didn't get a chance to test that but it just seems to me like that's how it works <laughs> so I made sure I only used that desk in her office where I wanted her to be I think that's kind of a shame because the desk is like a very standard looking school desk. It kind of matches the students' desks. So to me, it seems like maybe I would put it in the classrooms for the teacher to have that desk, but then I didn't want to put like that desk in the classroom and then have the principal go and sit there all day. I'll have to test that more when the pack actually comes out. I only had the four days of early access before I lost the game. I'm gonna get access again in a couple of weeks, like closer to the pack release, but I don't have it right now, so I can't like check, unfortunately. But those things are pretty much the only actual gameplay requirements functionally for the lot to work as far 
as like rooms and stuff go. Obviously you need lockers and things in the hallway. There's like a little loudspeaker item that you need that you can put up on any of the hallways. Doesn't really matter where. But the default high school came with a bunch of like skill building rooms and stuff. In the default one there was like a gym space in the basement. There was like a really small computer room and really small chess room also in the basement. Like very tiny. All it had was like two computers and three chess tables in two separate like bathroom sized rooms. It was it was actually kind of sad. And then upstairs they had like an art room and a music room. In my actual gameplay I found that I didn't really use any of those things very often. Like I had a little bit of free time at school but I often just studied or like talked to friends instead of going and like painting or whatever. I did want to include those things in my version of the school though because I felt like it was pretty important. I just kind of like switched around the importance of them though. Like for me I felt like a computer lab and a library sort of space with chess tables were really important parts of the school. I feel like the only computers shouldn't just be in like a back corner of the basement. So in my version of this school I made a big computer lab and a library on the first floor. You'll see like the two front rooms to the left there's gonna be a computer lab and to the right there's a library and then both obviously have computers <laughs> and then like bookcases and chess tables. I wanted to give a little bit more love to the chess club and the computer club because this high school pack comes with four different events you can join. You can be on the football team, on the cheer team, on the computer team, or on the chess team. And already I feel like the football and cheer teams obviously like in real life get way more attention. They've got the giant field, they've got weekly events that just happen without you having to schedule them, and that's no fun. They always get all of the attention and so instead I put like the computer and chess rooms as more like main features in the building on the first floor. I also found myself using them more often. Like I don't really need to have my sim go and use a treadmill at school. Sometimes they have like a request to if they're on the sports teams or anything, but realistically I don't really need to go use the treadmill at school. So I put the gym space in the upstairs instead. I found that when I was playtesting this school I pretty much exclusively stayed on the first floor. Occasionally I would go upstairs, but I tried to make sure everything could be on the first floor because when I was actually playing it takes a long time for your sim to move around and like route to the different sides of the school and I wanted to spend less time walking and more time actually playing so I tried to make the school a little bit easier to navigate. I did have a lot of space upstairs though so I put a lot of skill building rooms. You'll see I've got that huge gym I talked about. We also have an art room and a music room like we talked about. There's a conference table. I found that in the original high school there was like a big long skinny table in one of the rooms and I was like okay conference room and so I did the same thing in my high school because I had like a random corner. I've never used it. It has never served any gameplay purpose for me but it is there upstairs in a corner but I also managed to fit in like a wood shop like woodworking table room. I wanted to have a lot of different skill building options so you can build handiness, you can play the piano, you can play the guitar, you paint. I wanted to have like all of that stuff available if you wanted to use those amenities at school and I think I managed to make it fit. There is one thing about this high school that I built that I probably would change if I were to do it again and I think that my cafeteria is a little bit too small. Kind of a main thing that I was aiming for with this version of the high school to kind of like replace was that I wanted it to be a little bit smaller because I felt like the original high school was way too big and way too empty. So we had that problem of our sims spending too much time walking and not enough time actually doing and also it was just kind of empty so I really wanted it to feel a little bit more lively. So with this I tried to shrink it a little bit and then by doing that I felt like I couldn't fit enough tables in the cafeteria. So in my actual gameplay I've discovered that you need more than three tables. The three that I put is not good enough. I feel like if I were to redo this and I probably will when I put it on the gallery I'll probably expand the cafeteria to make it a little bit longer out the back and then fit in like two more tables. I don't know if you can tell but the gallery icon is actually grayed out on this version of the build. It's really weird. We have like the watermark and there's no access to the gallery or the library so I couldn't like save this lot or upload it yet. So what I have to do when I actually get the pack in a couple of weeks is try and put this save file in my real game and then really hope that it works. If it doesn't work the build's gone and I'm gonna have to like rebuild it or something. It's always worked in the past like with Snowy Escape and Cottage Living and stuff when I had this kind of early access but you never know because this version of the game isn't final software like they're definitely gonna change things and update things and stuff. That's why I had to get that really weird version of early access instead of like a normal kind. So if they like happen to update something that breaks the save I don't know that would be very upsetting. I would probably cry <laughs> if the build was gone. I mean it'd be fine I could redo it but I'm really proud of this high school. I had a lot of fun building it and a lot of fun playing in it. This high school area of the game is pretty cool though. Obviously we're playing on the active high school lot right now but there's a second lot nearby like kind of to the right that's like an auditorium and the auditorium lot is really cool. It works kind of like the special lots from Eco Lifestyle if you've played with those. The ones that are like dynamic where you can vote to make it like a community center or like a maker space or whatever and then it can change 
change. So basically when you go to the lot, it's got the default version that is just an empty auditorium, basically, like kind of an empty event space, but it's got four versions that are actively safe. So there's like the default one, there's a prom one, there's a career day one, and a graduation one, and you can edit all four versions of the lot, and then you can save that, and I assume it'll upload to the gallery with all four versions saved, because that's how Eco Lifestyle worked. I just think that's so cool, because then you can like edit prom. I think with prom, I was kind of expecting it to work like the festivals from City Living or something, and maybe it would happen outside and just kind of appear. Essentially, I thought I wouldn't be able to actually edit all of the items and the builds and decorations and things that go in there, but you can, which is really, really cool. The high school is very customizable, and there's also a ton of space outside of the high school that is playable. This area is huge. It is like a giant campus. I barely had my sim walk around it much because I was like so focused on spending time in the building, but there's a football field out behind the high school and you can actually go on the football field. Like the events happen, like the like the science fair days and the cheer event and stuff, that happens on the football field. And those things work kind of like city living, how it just like appears with the items like a festival. There's also like a little amphitheater thing off to the side. There's like a bus ramp, which you can't actually use or do anything with, but when your sims get here at school, they spawn next to the bus. So you can kind of pretend you took the bus to school even if you didn't because it's the Sims 4 and there's no cars. There's also parking lots all over the place. One of them has like painted parking spots. That's kind of a tradition at a lot of American high schools where the seniors can paint a parking spot. Like because if they've got like their designated one, they can paint the ground. I don't know. My school didn't have that. <laughs> I don't think any schools of any of my friends had that, but I've heard about it before. It's kind of mean for them to put it in the Sims though because we don't have cars. It's like they're taunting us, but whatever. It's very cute, I guess. Overall, this pack is very like America centric, American high school centric with like the cheer, the football, the, the parking spaces, even prom and graduation and stuff is, is very American. I will say that I had a lot of fun playing it, but obviously I went to American high school, so maybe I'm a little bit biased. This, this whole pack though is nothing like my real life high school experience. <laughs> I didn't join any clubs. I, I literally just studied. I didn't have any friends. Like <laughs> the stuff that is intended in this pack was not anything that I actually did. Let's be real. But like, maybe that's kind of fun. Maybe it's kind of fun to have your Sam like play as the cheerleader or whatever. I don't know. It's, it's definitely different than I think most of our high school experiences. I hate to say it, but like we're simmers, okay? I don't know about you, but I spent all of my high school playing the Sims when I got home from school. Like literally every, every day I would come home, do my homework, play Sims, and then go to bed. Like that's all I did. Granted, I was having a rough time, okay? I was mentally ill. My dad got cancer. Like, so you know, the Sims was a good escape for me. <laughs> I feel like I had an excuse. And you know what? Dare I say, it worked out for me, okay? Because I started my YouTube channel when I was in high school, when I was 16. And look at me now, I play the Sims for a living. So it's fine. Anyway, I'm doing the gym now. This is one of those things that I really didn't know what to do with on the inside. I How many high schools have treadmills in them? Is that like a thing? I, I don't know. I didn't, I wasn't on any sports teams in school, but I feel like that just wasn't a thing that would have happened at my high school. But this high school has them. The original high school had them too. So <laughs> I, I put them there. I guess it's good to build the fitness skill, you know, but I don't know how realistic that is. Again, upstairs though, there's also an art room and a music room. I tried to put, like I said, a lot of different skill building things up here. And again, like I mentioned, I didn't really have my sim come upstairs too much when I was playing with the pack. I was really focused on trying to make friends. <laughs> I felt like when I had the couple hours in between classes, I really wanted to try and meet other teens as opposed to just going up and like painting. But it is also a nice feature to have. It's good to have the option. Plus you can come here after school. Like you don't have to be here only during the school day. You can spend time after school and practice. You can like pretend there's an art club. There isn't actually an art club or a music thing or anything, but you can kind of pretend there is. And overall, I feel like this high school that I built functions really, really well. I play tested it a bunch. Like I played through two weeks of school in game. So I was there a lot. I didn't run into any issues. The only thing is that maybe the cafeteria should be a little bit bigger. And I'm probably gonna fix that before I put it on the gallery once I actually get the game back. I also like this version a lot better just because it feels more lively than the one that comes default in the game. I really felt like the default one was kind of empty and it felt kind of lacking. So I really enjoyed having this version <laughs> instead. It felt a lot more fun to visit and more fun to be in. But with that being said, we are pretty much done with the build here. We're kind of just wrapping it up. I did film a tour, like a proper tour of the high school when I still had early access. So we're gonna have to cut back to past Simsy for that one. I don't know what I said in that in that video. So maybe I'll repeat myself. I don't know. <laughs> I also had longer hair because I've, I've cut my hair since then. A lot can change in a week. You know, you give yourself a bad haircut with like craft scissors. Your merch goes on sale. By the way, <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. I had to do it. My merch is on sale right now for this week only. Everything on my merch website is 10% off. And if you buy any t-shirts or anything, those are buy one, get one 50% off. We're doing 
having a huge summer sale. So if you're interested in grabbing anything, I've got a bunch of really cute stuff. I know I'm biased, but it is cute. You can use code summer sale on lilsimsyshop.com to get that discount. I'll have my merch website linked down below and I'll put like the code and stuff too, in case you forget. And with that plug out of the way, I will send you to past Simsy and I'll show you around the build more properly. So here is the completely finished high school building. Couple things to note on the outside. I guess there's a lot of big open space kind of around the whole building. And that's because the lot is 64 by 64 and I didn't want to fill in the entire thing because then it would be like too much. Sometimes you just don't want to give the Sims too many options. You got to keep their space a little bit limited. We also have this sort of big open courtyard space in the front and that's because I've noticed that a lot of the Sims kind of crowd here when they first get to school and I didn't want to like fill it in too much and then mess up with the pathing. But from there they can go up the stairs into the actual building. It starts off with this sort of like entryway space where the staircases are. There's like some trophy cabinets. There's like a big mosaic tile in the floor with the school logo. And then the building itself kind of has like one long hallway in the middle of it and then everything else is sort of branched off around it. I was really trying hard to make this easy for your sims to get around. This main hallway has like a few decorations. There's like a clock and some posters and diplomas and stuff, but mostly it just has lockers in it. There's also two big bathroom stalls downstairs. They're both the same, just mirrored. So there's six toilets down here. I put a couple of vending machines right by the cafeteria and then back here is that main cafeteria area. Please disregard the dirty plates I've been playing in this school to play test it. So clearly the sims have not cleaned up after themselves, but I'll fix it when I put it on the gallery. I think one thing that I've noticed in my gameplay is that maybe this cafeteria is a little bit small and it could use a couple extra tables. So if I were to redo it and maybe next time I make a high school, I'd probably make the place a little bit wider so we could fit in a few more tables, but it does work. The sim stands back here to serve food. You can sit here and eat it. This right here is the principal's office. Something else that I noticed that I might change when I put it on the gallery is that I set it up to have this like faculty only door, except then when you have to talk to the principal and she's in here, you can't get to her. So I might change that to a regular door instead, but it does function right. She sits there at her desk. It all works. I also put a little staff room on the other side of the building where there's like a little coffee maker and some tables and stuff. This room is also only accessible to staff. It has that like staff only door. And then to the left of the entryway, I've got like what I'm calling the computer lab. The original build had like a really small room for computers that I assume was for the computer club, but it had like three computers and basically a closet in the basement. And that was no fun. So I made a bigger, like more proper computer lab. I have some like posters and things on the wall. I feel like this makes a lot more sense. And there's also a lot more computers if you need to use one. Over here to the right, there's like what I'm calling the library and it has the chess tables for the chess club. On the two opposite wings of the school are the two different classrooms and your sim just gets assigned to one of them. They're both the same, sorry, spoiler alert, but they look like this. I think it's a lot more fun to have them a little bit more decorated than the original one was and they still function the same. So it works just fine. In the back of the building, I put some like picnic tables. There's a cheer mat. I've got a couple more chess tables and some more tables outside if you wanted to eat out there. And then upstairs, we've got a lot more skill building rooms. There's a little bathroom space right here in the middle. And then we've got a huge gym area in here. They also have some more toilets and a shower if you need it. This is just meant to be a conference room. I don't know. The original build had one of these. I've never used it for anything. It just fills in empty space basically. But we also have an art room. We've got a music room. And I had an extra room, so I put in like a wood shop sort of area. So overall, there is a lot of different places for skill building. It all completely functions like it should in the game. And that is the finished high school. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I think building the high school was probably one of my favorite parts of playing with the pack. It was so much fun. But I've also got a ton more early access high school content coming for you. So if you're interested in seeing that, feel free to subscribe. And I'll link the past couple of videos that I've already posted down below if you want to watch those. For example, I've got a Let's Play playing in this high school, so I can link that for you. Have a great rest your day. And with that being said, I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. You know what? They are really taunting us with this car stuff. There's a parking lot on both sides of the school. There's a school bus in the front. I mean, it's getting ridiculous at this point.